Good morning. I am Lyana Ranjit from class 8 Neptune. Today I am going to take the seminar on the topic communicable diseases. So first we have to know what are communicable diseases. Diseases that are transmitted from a sick person to a healthy person are called communicable diseases. So as the name says communicable means through communication these diseases are transmitted from a uh, sick person to a healthy person. And these diseases are caused by disease causing germs called pathogens. So pathogens are just like microorganisms but they cause disease or that are harmful. And these pathogens include viruses, bacteria, protozoa, fungi etc. And these pathogens or these microorganisms are transmitted by air, direct contact, infected food and water through bites of insects etc. So now let's look into some common communicable diseases. First is influenza. Influenza is a viral infection that attacks your respiratory system. So it is a viral infection which means it is caused by viruses. And the causative agent is influenza virus. And the symptoms include fever, headache, body ache, running nose, cough, fatigue and a, ge a general discomfort. So the prevention methods of influenza are vaccination with flu shoots, avoid contact with sick person, cover mouth and nose while coughing, wash hands regularly. And the vaccine for influenza is just flu vaccine. Next is Dengue, a debilitating viral disease of the tropics, transmitted by mosquitoes and causing sudden fever and acute pains in the joints. So its causative agent is a virus named uh, Dengue virus. And the symptoms include high fever with headache and back pain, pain while moving eyeballs. And the prevention methods are, are just keep mosquito pollution under control and prevent mosquito bites. As it, uh, this dengue is transmitted through mosquitoes, we can do these things. And the vaccine for this is dengue vaccine. Next is malaria. An independent and remittent fever caused by a protozoan parasite which invades the red blood cells and it is transmitted through mosquitoes in many tropical and subtropical regions. So this is a protozoan parasite which means it is caused by a protozoan and the causative agent is a protozoan called plasmodium. And the symptoms include high fever with shivering and nausea. Nausea means a condition in which vomiting and all occur. And the prevention methods are uh, keep mosquito population under control, uh, prevent mosquito bites. And the vaccine for this is RTSS bar AS01. Measles, an infectious viral disease causing fever and red rash typically occur in childhood. The causative agent is rubiola virus and the symptoms are it starts with a headache, running nose, sneezing and fever. Then small red spots starts to occur which spread over the whole body. And the prevention methods are immunization against measles, isolation of the patient. And the vaccine for this is MMR vaccine. Chikungunya, a febrile disease that resembles dengue. Of course, especially in parts of Africa, India and Southeastern Asia. The causative agent is chikungunya virus. And the chikungunya is a disease which resembles dengue, which means it is a, a similar to dengue. And the uh, symptoms are fever, headache, muscle and joint pain, rushes and general weakness of the body. Prevention methods are keep mosquito pollution under control, prevent mosquito bites. And the vaccine is na not yet found. Last but not the least, acute immunodeficiency syndrome. AIDS, commonly known as AIDS, a disease of the immune system due to the infection with HIV. It is caused by the infection with HIV. So the, obviously the causative agent is HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. And the symptoms are weak immune system which makes pr uh, the sick person prone to various infectious diseases. So the sick person will have various infectious diseases as his immune system is weak. And the uh, prevention methods are use disposable needles and syringes for injection. And the blood used in transfusion should be free from HIV. And the vaccine is not yet found. As you all know, we are sitting home because of a communicable disease called COVID-19. As I am taking the seminar on the topic communicable diseases, I am also going to take a talk a little about the COVID-19. 
The COVID-19 is a disease caused by the new strain of coronavirus and the causative agent is coronavirus and the most common symptoms are fever, dry cough and tiredness. The prevention methods of COVID-19 are clean your hands often using soap and water or a alcohol based hand sanitizer. Maintain safe distance from anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Wear a mask when physical distancing is not possible. Don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth. Cover your nose and mouth with your bent elbow or a tissue paper while coughing or sneezing. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have fever, cough and difficulty in breathing, seek medical attention. So as you all know, the vaccine is not yet found. So now we come to the end of my seminar. Hope you all understood the topics. Thank you for listening. Bye.